Howdy denizens, and welcome to another edition of Blu-ray Bullshit. I'm Crazy Jason. I'm Other Jason. That's right. And this is our first official review. Uh, we're going to call it a bullshit. We'll call it an actual review for the Rough Cuts, which is uh, really cool. We're glad to be on board. Thumbs up. What do you think? Yeah, uh, definitely right there with you. Um, we've been uh, we've been doing our thing on YouTube for uh, for a few months. I've been doing it since May. So yeah. yeah, and uh, you know, real honor to get uh, to get invited to uh, join in with uh, one of the better review collaborative yeah. channels on a bunch of YouTube. Great YouTubers yep. on here. So exactly. Yeah. I'm glad so. to be a part of you guys. Exactly. All right. So, so on to the uh, on to the review the main event. Yeah. Predators is the film that we are reviewing this week. Yes. On Blu-ray. Produced by the great great Robert Rodriguez. He and of El Mariachi fame. He of Desperado fame. Planet Terror. Spy Kids. Fame. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Just uh, a lot of great flicks. Sin City. Yeah. Probably what he's best known for at this Yeah. Right I now. mean, just. Uh, underappreciated and my my personal favorite you know uh, well he just he keeps getting better on. you know yeah. he didn't have like he a really formal does. school education he yeah. just went out there and he just did it man exactly just yeah. balls to the wall and, and you know, know cool thing that. you know cool thing about him is he always puts those 10 minute film school things on on his uh, DVDs yes. those yes. are very cool shows you know like a little cuz he he edits all of his flicks he, he does and now the, and and as a matter of fact this entire film except you know the the Locations they shot mm -hmm. in Hawaii for the for the jungle scenes, yep. but the rest of it was shot in Texas at Troublemaker awesome. Studios. Yep. Yeah, he's got his own studio. He's got his own in-house editing, special effects, everything. He yep. does it all, man. And you know, it all started with him cobbling together a meager seven thousand dollar budget to shoot a little sixteen millimeter film. Dreams he, can come true. Yeah, or yeah. me and you. Yeah, and or maybe not. But probably, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, much respect for the Rodriguez. Yeah. Um, but moving on to the film itself. This one was directed by um, Nimrod, Nimrod Antel. Yeah, and uh, that I, I. What an unfortunate first name. Yeah, that? this one, uh, you know, if anybody was out on Black Friday, ten dollar deal, and it was really fucking awesome deal. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 did the blind buy thing, and I foolishly yeah. did not. I've Which seen, is a real yeah. huge mistake on my part because I'm just going to go ahead and I've been busting to say this. This movie is fucking awesome. Yeah. This movie is worth a blind buy and I missed it at $10, but I'm going to go, I'm probably going to go tonight and order it off of Amazon for $20. Yeah. Just, or just straight up go down to Walmart and get it because it's worth retail. it. Yeah. I usually don't pay full retail. I usually wait for a pawn shop or, or some other deal. But right. It's so good. It's that good. And, and, I just watched it a few nights ago, and I was just mesmerized. The image quality. This is a true successor to the original Predator. Yeah, and they, even the name Predators was a throwback or homage reference to Aliens, the second. You know. And he also wanted to get across the fact that um, not only are there the actual alien Predators, but also the group of people. In this film, are predators themselves, and right. that was one of the reasons he wanted that title. You've got the well. uh, Mexican cartel enforcer. You've got the uh, Spetsnaz guy. You've got Adrian Brody's mercenary character. You've got Topher Grace. I'm not and Topher spoil Grace, that yeah, that, that's a good twist. You, you're wondering the yeah. whole time why is this character there? And yeah, then, he's a physician. Doesn't really make sense why he's there. Very yeah. meek, very mild. At the beginning, I thought maybe the physician was thrown in to sort of keep them. Alive. Alive. Yeah. Make it a better game. I was, yeah, I was getting the uh, the feeling something was up there a few times, but then I, so, I keep coming back to, uh, you know, the fact that, yeah, Doctor, maybe they just want him to patch everybody up. But uh, it's, it's the, some yeah. good character development as far as he goes. Yeah. But the uh, the premise of the film is um, the film starts out and Adrian Brody is just free falling. You really get into the, the atmosphere. Run. And then yeah. he, just, he just falls into this jungle. And, and you have no idea what's going on. And all of these people, all the different characters fall in. They've been taken from different places. Uh, on, most of them are military types, like you said, black ops or, you know, just different badasses. Like one guy's a criminal and one guy's... Straight know, out of jail with the, the jumpsuit on. And then there's Danny Trejo, 
It's like a yeah. badass cartel enforcer yeah. from Mexico. And then uh, they, they, they slowly figure out that they have been uh, taken from their home planet and put onto a game preserve on a different... This is not even the Predator homeworld. No, this is... This is just another planet that they use as a game preserve. Right. You know, they, they put all kinds of species on there. They, and so the humans are on there, and they're being hunted by three Predators. Yeah. And the cool thing was is that, you know... It, they introduce the fact that there are more than one type of predator. They, right. the, you got the big ones. There's a, like a cast. Yeah, and you got there's the class smaller structure. ones. Yeah, there's yeah. a cast. Yeah, a different. I think they compare them to wolves and dogs. Right. Yes, that's Lawrence Fishburne's character compares them to wolves and dogs. Yeah. Um, as, which was a pretty interesting development for me. Now, I gotta yeah. say, one of the the creepiest scenes in the entire movie was the the encampment. There's a uh, a predator encampment that uh, is just the production value on that was just right. really well done. Yeah, and, and I, uh, I gotta say they they did the men in suits thing here, and I I'm so good. Man, the CG was done sparingly. Is to my eye, I I, yeah. I didn't get a chance to really research the special effects. Knowing um, <clears throat> Rodriguez, he's usually pretty CG heavy. But there were a lot of, I mean, there were a lot of practical effects yes. in this film, and they were very well done, as you said. Yeah, the, the, I'm just very glad that they didn't make all the Predators CG. That that would have been a damn shame. Um, nope. Yeah, we went back to the guys in a rubber suit, and the... Uh, it works. It, it looked great. I mean, why, why, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it wasn't and as far broken as, in the 80s. Right. And as far as looking great, the film itself is what they would call demo quality. Yeah, it really Blu-ray. is. Most, it's beautiful. Yeah. It was not actually shot on film. It was shot on the uh, Panasonic Genesis camera. Really? But you can't tell, can you? No. I mean, usually I have an eye. I can pick up film, video, you know, differences between 16mm or 35 but this, I don't care what it was. It was just beautiful. I mean, yeah. The blacks were so inky. They were, ugh, I just yeah, love very, the blacks. Very immersive picture. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, there was a nice sheen of grain on it. Yeah, that was what I kept getting impressed by the amount of grain that's there. It was lush. Yeah. And then uh, bring us to the, uh, the, the the sound was equally as impressive it as the picture. It was very, very solid sound. Very bass heavy. Yes. Um, but the dialogue was not covered up at all. Yep. Um, and it was very consistent. It wasn't one of those flicks where you, you know, catch yourself having to turn it up, turn it down, all that nonsense. So, uh, yeah. Solid would, five stars on... On both, on, yeah. On everything, on the, the, you know, technically. Yeah. Five stars. This would be a great introduction to Blu-ray yeah. for somebody. If, if you manage to pick up uh, one of the cheap players, you know, on sale Black Friday or... You know, you managed to get one for Christmas, whatever. If you haven't gotten into Blu-ray yet, this would be a great disc to start off with, honestly. Uh, especially if you haven't seen it yet. Or if you have seen it yet, it'd be, you know, eye-opening to see the difference between this and uh, and DVD. It was weird because it came and went into theaters. I assumed that it was just mediocre. Yeah, it just but, takes uh, a lot of attention. You know, it's so happy. I'm so happy. Like, last year we had Star Trek, we had District 9... We had a bunch of great films last year. Great year for genre filmmaking. 2009 was, yeah, yeah. just awesome. And then we have Predators come along. And, you know, I'm thinking after seeing this movie, I'm so glad that they can make movies like this mm-hmm. again. Yeah. There, um, there's such a dry spell where it just felt like they can't make good movies anymore. No, no. It's, they can't uh, make good genre movies anymore. No, the last couple of years have really proven otherwise. Yes. And um, just, we've, got, we've had a lot of 80s throwback uh, flicks, because that was really the golden age for sci-fi action and good, yeah, sci-fi actioners. And I guess say like, while you can call it a throwback, it's not one of these films that's trying to be nostalgic. Like, no. uh, what am I thinking? The of? Expendables or? Uh, no, no, I'm thinking more uh, sci-fi. What was that one that the uh, John Favreau directed? Zathura. Zathura, yes. Try too hard to be like a throwback. I while I appreciated it. Try too hard to be nostalgic. This is just simply a good movie. It just is. You know, it's not trying to 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 be an '80s movie. No. It's just, but it is a total throwback. And um, the only question mark in my mind had to do with casting. Um, from, 
not not the uh, not the other characters, but the casting of Adrian Brody. Um, it was interesting, I'll say that. Yeah. But uh, at the end, when he's got his shirt off and he's not quite buff, <laughs> nah. kind of doing the Schwarzenegger thing, I was a little iffy on that. Um, that being said, the ensemble cast, and this is another thing I give a big thumbs up for and say it's a throwback. Nobody tries to outdo each other. No. They are all in the service of the film, and each character is well written. Each character is a character. Mm -hmm. They're not just an actor spouting lines. Yeah. They're a, they're a fleshed out character, and they they're 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 working as a great ensemble. And uh, I don't think there are any weak points. Even, just I can't decide if I like Adrian Brody in the role. Yeah. Even the characters that don't have a lot of dialogue, like the uh, the Yakuza. Um, the uh, main guy, yeah, the guy from Lost. Yeah, he He's, he didn't really have a lot of uh, a lot of dialogue, but you got to know him just through the way he carried himself, the you know, and just some of his actions. Um, yeah, right, and you you. What's great about that is you want to know more about his character. Right. The uh, you want to you want to know his background, and that's that's a good that's a very good sign. Right, it, it kind of draws you in more, and you know, even though you never really learn a whole lot, it's still, you know, it keeps you interested in his character. This well, very well written script. Uh, can't say enough good things about it. I, I give, you know, if I grade this, uh, I, I give the movie, I don't know, man, I give everything a five star. Yeah, I'm, Straight I'm right the there with you. I mean, just, Five star everything. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really... I just, might knock it to a 4.5 all around just because I don't know if I like Adrian Brody in that role, but I don't know. I'm he just still gonna, did a great job. I'm with just going to go for it and so. say five star. Yeah. I'm so rare on doing that. But yeah. i, I got to say, man. It's one of those movies that really just gets you enthused about even seeing it a second time. Yes. I so. want to see it, like like I said, Yeah, either I go tonight and go to Walmart and buy it, or I'm going to go back to uh, Redbox and rent it again. Or are you just going to wait till I'm not looking and steal mine? Oh, I'd like to borrow it for the special feature. Speaking of which, what are the... I know there's a the, good commentary um, track on there. I've read that... Uh, uh, the director and Rodriguez do a very good commentary. Yes, track. Nimrod and uh, Robert sit down. Nimrod and Bob. <laughs> that sounds like a comedy duo. Nimrod yeah, and Bob. We should we should call up those names. The Nimrod and Bob show. Yeah. Um, okay, so basically you have a Robert Rodriguez done motion comic, which kind of is a they're they're prequels. They have each character, uh, not all of them, just. Um, uh, Isabel, the female sniper, Cuchillo, which I believe that was Danny, Tra Danny Trejo's right, character, yeah. uh, Hanzo, which is the Yakuza guy we were talking about earlier, and Mombasa, who we haven't talked about yet, he was, um, he was, a an African, um, paramilitary guy, um, yeah. He and was the then, only one that was slightly generic. I don't know. But um, I, if you see the movie, you'll probably understand why. He was really more of a plot device than a character. In right. We needed, they needed more characters. Right. They, you know, yeah. More fodder. They just needed to flesh it out a little bit. So what else we got? Um, we've got the commentary by uh, Robert Rodriguez and Nimrod and Tall. Um, you got Evolution of the Species, Predators Reborn, The Chosen Featurette, um, and then Fox Movie Channel presents Making a Scene, and then Deleted and Extended Scenes. The only, I watched some of the motion comics, they look really cool. Once I have time, I'm going to go back and uh, check those out. I gotta, I gotta do the commentary. I've got to see the, that, uh, The Evolution of the Species the of the sounds species very show. good as well. So this movie gets two thumbs up, the Kakalaki seal of approval. Five stars across the board. That's right. Probably, so, probably the, the biggest, uh... We've given to a movie. Yeah, since as we've, and we've really, reviewed a lot of classics. Though. Yeah, this has been the, uh, yeah. the really the most positive review we've done. Cause and any, there's not a lot to be nitpicky about. There's me. really not. Um, I could honestly sit down and watch this movie right now. Yep. Rewatch it again. Absolutely, no problem. As we said earlier, really, really excited to be starting uh, into this uh, venture with the Rough Cuts. Really jazzed about being here. Yep. It's fucking awesome. And uh, hope you enjoyed our first uh, our review. Please leave comments below. Yep. Check us out on yep. Kakalaki Movies. That's our our home channel. It's in yes. the uh, the links below the videos. The mother channel and uh, the mothership. And so that's it for this time on Kakalaki Movie Madness. Shooting the shit about Blu-rays on the rough cuts.